What's up everyone, today on this video tutorial for Flash CS3 and CS4 uh, I'll be showing you how to change the color of a shape to the color picker events the color picker object itself So here's what we'll be creating so We have our color picker, we can actually select any color and automatically our two ups here will be changing their colors So, you can also do any color you want to really Okay, so here's um, how it's done. Okay, so let me uh, close out of this. Let me actually go and create a new file, a flash file, Action Script 3.0. We need Action Script 3.0. You know that. Alright, it's okay. And now let's go ahead and import our um, Illustrate file. Or you can just create a shape, whichever one you prefer to do. Sorry. Stage and then tools AI. And I'll select this and I'll create a movie clip. You need to make this shape a movie clip. So I should input my to shape underscore MC. Um, and that's good. Okay. Alright, so now let's go ahead and resize this. Just a little bit. Alright, and now let's go and rename this layer shape. And let's make sure the instance name is shape underscore MC. That's great. Now let's go ahead and create a new layer, and we're actually going to be setting our color picker right there. So let's go ahead to the components. If you don't know how to get those, control F7, it brings up the components. Uh, tab or a little uh, panel and choose color picker, drag it and drop it right in the uh, stage area. Okay, so here's our color picker and let's go to the properties panel and let's rename this CP shape. So it's the uh, color picker for our shape. Now to create a new layer and let's create an AS for action script. Let's lock the layer and let's go ahead and go to window, actions, and let's type in our action script. Let's go on to import some uh, events. So fl.events.color picker events. There we go. Now, we need to uh, add an event listener to our, uh, whenever it's uh, our uh, color picker is changing, we need to uh, do something. So that's why we needed an event listener. So we're going to say cp shape dot add event listener. Make sure the e and the l are uh, capitalized. And it's going to be a uh, color color picker event dot change. And we'll actually be executing the function which we'll be creating right now called change color. And let's close the parentheses and simple. Now, our function function change color. And we're going to be taking an event, which is going to be a Color picker event, and we'll actually be uh, making this void. And let's go ahead and uh, write our code. Alright, so we need to create a new variable. So as var, and we're going to make this new color transform. So basically, there's a uh, object out there which is a color transform, which basically is in our shape and that basically allows you to actually change the uh, color of an object shape. This uh, instance you uh, <clears throat> So, we're going to set this new color transform, color transform uh, object to be equal to our shape underscore MC, so 
to my uh, great tulips. Vectorize tulips and dot transform dot color transform is the properties we want to actually set our color transform to. So basically, this color transform is going to be equal to our shapes color transform uh, property. All right, so now we're going to say uh, the new color transform. So a new color transform it is equal to actually uh, dot color. Sorry, so a new trans color transform color is equal to event dot color okay uh, semicolon and last line your shape underscore MC so as shapes uh, dot transform dot color transform is equal oops that is equal to uh, new um, trans trans so let me go on so let me go through real quickly what we have done um, our color transform uh, the color transform object is going to be equal to our shapes color transform property now this color transform color is going to be equal to our event dot color so basically uh, the, uh, the color picker and our shapes color transform is now going to be equal to a new color transform since we have changed it to the event color. Seems complicated, but it's actually real simple. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, preview that. It's a pretty nice to read the movie. And we have some here. Alright, so it said that we have a problem. Actually, uh, the function change color, I forgot to put the end, so let me stop. So. Script contains no error, and let's go ahead and run that. And now we can select from the drop from the uh, color picker and select any color, and automatically change our shape's color. Now make sure your shape is uh, transparent on the white, because uh, I thought mine was actually wasn't, and the whole thing went uh, the color, it's because um, it changes the uh, the um, opaque, the visible area. Of the, uh, of the shape. Alright, so that's it for this uh, video tutorial for Flash CS3 and CS4 on how to change a shape's color. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time on other tech full tots. For tech full tots, I'm Jeremy, and I'll see you guys next time.